Hey guys, what's up? It's me, J Daddy, here with another video. And I don't know if you know what this is, <laughs> but uh, it's pretty much Lumi AV. <laughs> I mean, Lumi Mega. Let's let's be honest here. All right, and of course, I'm talking about Deep Sea Megaport. Yes, we did just get this thing. Um, and I've only been playing around with it for like maybe a minute. Uh, this isn't the base color scheme, by the way. Just want to let you know that. So, um, so thoughts just appearance wise off the beginning. Um, where is the where's the the ray wings? I wanted those. I liked those. It might be at earlier stages. I'm not sure. I'd have to get some of my friends on see it on earlier stages but for right now i mean i mean i don't know i don't hate it i mean it looks nice right it's actually pretty dope looking all right and it, i don't know about it being new meta right and i'm hoping this one i'm hoping this thing goes limited like now because <laughs> mega doesn't have a limited skin and this would just give it something you know worthwhile you know maybe if they want to make solar like limited and tradable and this thing can just be straight up the limited skin i'd be cool with that too um as for animations i don't know who animated it um walk animations there isn't a whole lot to the front feet right the back feet like they have lots of animation but the front feet like i'm not i'm not feeling anything out of those right the head animations are pretty great Right, and give, give it a constant movement, right, up and down, up and down. Um, I'm not so sure how I feel about the head shape. The shape of the head is kind of weird to me. It doesn't feel like Megavore, right? If it, Like, this feels like a completely different creature. Uh, the way the colors are placed onto the creature is, like, really well made. Like, very unique, and unlike a lot of things we usually see in here. Um, the sail, for, as, as, you know... As it would be is actually pretty accurate to how it would have been you know if megavore or spinosaur would be real is it would have you know not a sail but a bump on its back right and it's got you get a lot of uh bioluminescence on it right so uh let's let's check out the the roars so first you know you have the the good old just straight up roar and that's that's what's cool about this guy is he can change color right this is like normal mega color scheme i'm pretty sure that it is this like color scheme on purpose right uh, if i do it again no and see a lot of times with like the mayhems and stuff you gotta give it like a like at least like 30 seconds or so before you can do it again uh, let's see if i can do it again oh brought me back to the red so uh there i believe is I want to say four to five different colors. You have the red, you have the purple, you have green, you have blue, and I want to say yellow. There you go. There's a cyan. There's a cyan. There you go. There's there's that blue. The blue is pretty nice. It gives me a, a, a nice feel to it. I, I, I think it's a very interesting color scheme, right? And, you know, it's well made. I mean, <laughs> crap. If we got Mayhems back and they did this... Like, I think I would start ha start having to use Mayhems a little bit more. Um, alright, let's 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 start trying to see if we can see another color. Ooh, look, that's an orange. That ain't a red, that's an orange. There might be more than I thought. That is, that is interesting. There, like, th these color schemes are very interesting. If Lumi was able to do this, I mean, <laughs> yeah, sign me up. There's you, there's you, green. I believe, okay, so there's probably more close to like six to ten, four to ten, something like that. I'm sure someone has already posted it, how many exact combinations there are. Growl. So here's the growl. So I don't know if you see a problem there. Uh, but the growl animations aren't actually the growl animations, they're the call animations. And you won't notice that until you do the call. You're like, you're like, what? How do you, how, how can you tell? Now, now let's watch the call, call animation. Look how it does like that whole thing, the whole animation. So what I'm thinking is they're probably gonna tr swap those around. 
either animations or sounds. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I'm I'm going to assume sounds is easier to swap around like that. Like it's easier to do. So I'm going to assume they're doing that. Uh, if you're looking for an AoE, here's the AoE. Two swipes right from the front claws. Right? It's, it's like a smaller, like lower to the ground version of regular Mega. Right? Slapping it. Right? Ooh, I actually like this monochromatic coach scheme. Uh, here's the sprint animation. Kind of like... Runs... Kind of like a, a cub kind of thing. Very interesting. And let's check out these swim animations. These swim animations gotta be good. Alright. Again, giving me more of like a... like a. It, it's not giving me a semi-aquatic vibe. It's giving me more of a... Uh, a land creature outside of its atmosphere kind of vibe which is not the vibe that i was hoping i was gonna get i was hoping that this thing would feel like it it's like in the water like the water is its home um let's see the sprint version of this okay the sprint is kind of funky i'm not gonna lie to you that's that's a bit weird uh i don't necessarily hate it i do enjoy how he does actually have tentacles on the back of his tail right otherwise i would i could easily go with saying that this isn't a deep sea kind of thing i feel like they i feel like they made this mega a lot more heavy set than a lot of the other ones this one's supposed to be a thin down version i would think but i don't think it is uh and the bite animation is just a it's just a quick like slap just a quick slap you know you know, kind of like a grizzly. Yeah, there you go. Now I'm now I'm starting to get it. If this thing reminds me a lot of grizzly spino, like that, I'm getting heavy grizzly spino vibes from it. Just 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 the way it's like shaped. They are shaped similar. I understand that, but I'm just getting like vibes, just like the animations and how it feels. And I'm I'm not dogging on the model. It's a good model, especially that color palette. Right? They worked with a very diverse color palette, which I respect. This is the base color scheme of the Deep Sea Mega, right? This is base. Um, and it, it has this, all the same stats as Megavore, right? There's nothing different about it, right? You know, when I swim, right? There's no different oxygen. I feel like the oxygen should be buffed more. All right. Now, we're going to use this tree as comparison because I have no friends, right? None of them are online right now, and I thought that I needed to get this video pumped out immediately because, dude, am I pumped for this? All right, so the Deep Sea Mega gets about here, if that's a good frame of reference, right? About here, and it's, I mean, it's its relatively long, and like, in my, like, it, it looks small, but it, it doesn't feel small. I don't know why. And, uh, yeah, uh, Mega is, uh, regular Mega is definitely, definitely bigger by a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Holy crap. That's insane. Okay, um, I didn't expect that. Uh, you know, and, you know, no offense to the new model and whatnot, but I still feel like I would prefer regular Mega over it. Like, the only one that I would really come close is Star. And even then. Alright, and finally, we have this new Solarbringer. I mean, look at this. Like, uh, like Young, you did a great job on Solar's design. The colors were just a bit off, and I feel like this is this is definitely an upgrade from it from what it was. It wasn't necessarily bad previously. It just it it had too much right to it. So you know I'd have to say this is an upgrade, right? You know you get your bite, you you roar, goes across, you growl, another cross one, you call. I'm pretty sure those are all the same right what you really want to look out for right is the aoe watch this that aoe is of such a fluid animation 
right? And now that there's more color onto it, I really feel like he looks like a, a, a Pokemon. Um, you know, I don't want to, like, like be a negative Nancy. I still feel like there could be more color to it. But, you know, honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks right now. I'm, I'm no longer probably going to be disgusted with how they look. And this probably means for everyone who uses solar for, um, you know, egg glitching or body glitching, corpse glitching, you know. It's probably nerfed now, now that it's shrunken down and everything. Because this is definitely smaller than regular Mega. This is about the same size. Actually, I don't know. The body body wise, it's definitely smaller than regular Mega. Right? And sail wise, it's about probably around the same height. But yeah. Animations, right? Walk, it feels like Wraith, right? Which is really cool. Right? I like how it does this. This is, I like, that is pretty solid in my opinion. And then the run, right? That's also pretty solid, right? But that walk, I, I'm digging that walk. Like, that's cool, right? Like, y'all, like, whoever fixed it up, I don't know the details because, again, I'm still banned. Drink, same thing, right? Uh, swim wise, uh, similar little bit more to the animation right up and down right same thing sprinting in the water right a little bit more movement like i said like a little bit more movement goes a long way man like this is this is definitely an upgrade this is like when gab got its wars right just just a little bit extra just makes the model it just makes it much better right and who knows maybe this will go limited uh limited trade and then uh the other one will just go limited, right? Well, I mean, I'm chilling with this. All right, moving on. Also, guys, uh, don't forget that uh, the Mayhem Toaster has come out, and this skin is great. I just, it's great. <laughs> this is just too good. The animations are great. It, it flows really well, right? It's a Thalmastodon skin, right? So you're going to have to scroll down low on your list. It costs 1200 right? Which is about, you know... 10,000 less, right? It's like divided by 10. I don't know how to say it, how I would say it. it. It does not like water, apparently. So do not go swimming in water with the toaster. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't swim with the toaster. It has great flying animations. This looks, this is, this is like some kitty cater level stuff. Uh, and it can, yeah. This thing's just, Great. Uh, bite animation, you know, bite, nom nom nom. Let's see your AoE. I, you you gotta have something interesting, right? Oh yeah, you should toast. Oh yep, and it changes color. Let's go. And you don't have to get it from Mayhem Egg. You can just buy it, right? That's your growl. That's your call. That's your. So Roar is the only one that changes the colors. And yeah, that's pretty much Thou for you, you know. Also, guys, just thought I should mention to you guys that uh, apparently Giga Raptor is, uh, has been fixed. So, you know, all you Giga Raptor mains up there, your turkey's back, right? So get on that grind with him. Alright guys, well, that's pretty much my just look at the new update, like, this, I don't know, this thing, like, it's cool, right? I don't hate it, and it's, it, it feels smaller, and you know, I feel like it and Lumi are gonna feel great together, right? They're gonna go hand in hand, because they look like twins, right? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next one, whenever the hell they decide to update this again. Uh, that would be probably albino and mega remodel but thanks for watching and peace